NASA Goddard Space Telescope Operations Control Center has seen a lot of activity over the past 25 years of the Hubble Space Telescope. It looks calm now, but 13 years ago, it was a very different story. Engineers at the Goddard Space Flight Center discovered that there was a very small fault in the power control unit. You know, it's the heart of Hubble. It, um, all the power runs through that box. To change out the PCU, you actually have to turn off the telescope. And this is something we've never, ever done, is turn the telescope completely off. Because when you turn all of the power off of Hubble, it starts getting cold. You know, space is a cruel environment, and so the temperature control of the telescope is very important. I was brought on to develop a command procedure, which we called the super proc, which would turn the telescope off as quickly as we possibly could. For months, we analyzed different scenarios. We thought through everything that could possibly go wrong. You know, we felt confident we had a, a, a ream of analysis. I arrived late at night for the start of the orbit shift. So the team was very prepared and very focused on, on what we had to do that night. You know, everything was pretty calm. Everything was, you know, you're nervous, but everything was going according to plan. John is getting into the suit. He's getting into the airlock. They're going through all their checklists, and we're sending commands and commands. And it's like a ro we're starting down a roller coaster ride. The goal was always to have the work site ready to go with whatever power needed to be removed for safety considerations just when the crew got to the work site. All of a sudden, we hear over the loops, we hear John say, I have a leak. What does that mean? A water leak in a suit, you know, that's, that's not good. Then Al comes on the loops and tells us, stop doing the commanding. We need to figure out what we're gonna do from this point. What we immediately did was started to assess what components we had already powered off. Then I said, you know, these things don't have a lot of margin. You know, we, we're, we're up to the line. Our, our thermal engineers would tell us, well, we, given the condition and the te current temperatures, we've got a certain amount of time. I said, okay, turn on this. Turn on this instrument. Turn on these, you know, general bus heaters. At the same time, the astronauts are frantically working to change out John's suit to get him back ready. The next thing we hear is, okay, we've got it fixed. You know, he got into a different suit and things, you know, were working well. We turned right back around and started shutting things back off. And so we were, we were right back on that roller coaster of powering down again. It was a relief to me. We're back on track. You know, we're back to, you know, the original plan. Luckily, we had everything reconfigured in time. So by the time, by the time John got to the door and was ready to start working on the PCU, we were able to send the super proc. The telescope is powered down. Uh, so there's uh, super people, they're uh, geniuses. The telescope was completely off. It's an engineer's lifeblood to sit there and watch the telemetry, to watch the temperatures, watch the voltages, watch the power, make sure everything is safe while they're working on the telescope, but we had none of that. All we could do was sit back and watch John perform what was you know, the most amazing EVA of all times. It was like watching poetry in motion. Before we knew it, it was time to power things back on. Uh, they give us the call down to say, go for the PCU aliveness test. This is where we actually can send the commands to turn the telescope back on. All of a sudden, this flood of telemetry starts coming in from the telescope. Power was running through it, the batteries were charging, um, and for me, the temperatures <laughs> were, were looking in a safe you know, range. Everyone's looking at their screens, and and it was pretty much just green across the board. Hubble is back alive. We were very pleased, of course. It was a lot of work. It was years of work, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't wasted. Everything worked out according to plan. Hubble is a great project with amazing people, and we were able to prove it that day. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most important scientific instruments in all of human history, so to think about possibly messing something up on the telescope is terrifying. This was not the first or last time the NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center took action to keep Hubble up and running. So stay tuned for more memorable moments from Hubble's 25 years.